Cisco UCS Manager, creating a vNIC template with failover vNICs. The vNIC LAN connectivity policy defines how a vNIC on a server connects to the LAN. Before you create a vNIC template, this policy requires that one or more of the following resources already exist in a system. A named VLAN, MacPool, QoS policy, LAN pin group, or statistics threshold policy. In a navigation pane, click LAN and expand policies. Right-click the VNIC Templates node and choose Create VNIC Template. And in the Create VNIC Template dialog box, assign a name, description, and select the fabric ID for the template. If you want VNICs created from this template to access a second fabric interconnect, if the default one is unavailable, check the Enable Failover checkbox. Do not enable VNIC fabric failover if the Cisco UCS domain is running in Ethernet switch mode. VNIC fabric failover is not supported in that mode. If all Ethernet uplinks on one fabric interconnect fail, the VNICs do not fail over to the other one. Also do not enable VNIC fabric failover if you plan to associate one or more VNICs created from this template to a server with an adapter that doesn't support fabric failover. Otherwise, Cisco UCS Manager generates a configuration fault when you associate the service profile with the server. Select the redundancy type as primary template, secondary template, or no redundancy. If you select primary template, it creates configurations that can be shared with the secondary template. Any other shared changes on the primary template are automatically synchronized to the secondary template. Configurations that can be shared are VLANs, template type, MTU, network control policies, connection policies, QoS policy, and stats threshold policy. Non-shared configurations are fabric ID, CDN source, MAC pool, description, and pin group policy. If you select secondary template, all shared configurations are inherited from the primary template. If you don't want to use redundancy, select no redundancy. This enables legacy vNIC and vHBA template behavior. Select Peer Redundancy Template to choose the name of the corresponding primary or secondary redundancy template to perform the template pairing from the primary or secondary redundancy template. From the target list, select possible targets for VNIX created from this template. The target you select determines whether or not Cisco UCS Manager automatically creates a VM Fexport profile with the appropriate settings for the VNIC template. If you check Adapter, the VNICs apply to all adapters. No VM Fexport profile is created if you choose this option. And if you check VM, the VNICs apply to all virtual machines and a VM Fexport profile is created. Select the template type. If you select Initial Template, VNICs created from this template are not updated if the template changes, and if you select Updating Template, VNICs created from this template are updated. In the VLANs area, use the table to select the VLAN to assign to VNICs created from this template. And in the VLAN Groups area, use a table to select the VLAN group to assign to VNICs created from this template. Configure the policies for the VNIC template. Select a connection policy. Click OK. After you create the VNIC redundancy template pair, you can use the template pair to create redundancy VNIC pairs for any service profile in the same organization or sub-organization.